Okay. Dude. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm we, still adding graphics we had, as we go yeah, live. Yeah, we had a morning. Uh, <laughs> no, that's awesome, man. Like, uh, yeah. Jen Alvig just got us some great graphics yep. for our function. Good morning. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to professional, photo professional photographers of Idaho. I'm all over the place this morning. He's Bob Ryder. I'm, I'm Larry Fry. Thanks. Well, I need well, help in that. Well, welcome to the show. Who am I this week? I didn't oh even have God. music playing. I'm nope. going to turn our mics down just to punch there. Listen, we've been busy, okay, so I just want you guys to know that. So it, it, we haven't been sitting here, John. We've been That's terrific, talking. man. Yeah. Um, let's just jump right over to the social. My wife okay. says, morning, guys. Enjoy your coffee. My wife, yeah. just. I need to stop yelling. I'm yeah. out. <sighs> Here's to you, Bri. Cheers, Thank bro. you. Yeah, thanks, Bri. Not our usual <sighs> segue into no, the live. No, no. Usually have half of that drunk before it yeah. start in. Yeah. Um, everything's working, though. Let's check our other deal. Good morning, Laquita. Hey, Laquita. Um, she says we're hilarious today. I'm going to actually just put that right We are there. discombobulated a little <laughs> bit today. Not... There it is. Oh, we did you guys good are hilarious today. Oh, okay. I, you know, uh, literally just adding graphics right, right up until I'm like, oh, it's time to start. Uh, adding the graphic and clicking look on it took away my timer. I'm like, good grief, yeah. right? Look at the clock. It's 11.01. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, and that's live. Bob. Yeah, Shoot. yeah. It's all good, man. Yeah. Uh, what a great week this week has been. I had a cool opportunity yesterday out at the... Um, at the Ford Idaho Center with the Nampa Chamber. We had a breakfast with a keynote over there, a gal named Beth from the Boise Valley Economic Development uh, Group. Um, learned a whole lot about what they do in terms of helping major players come to our region, uh, bringing jobs and childcare, a big element. So uh, so let's let's kind of unpack that just a little bit. Okay. So you're, you're in Meridian, right? Yeah. And I know you're active with the Meridian Chamber, or right. have been yep. for quite a while. I really am, yep. Uh, but you went to Nampa. Yeah, we are also members of the Nampa Chamber. But you're engaging with the Nampa Chamber now yeah. way more than you did with the, or than you used to, let's put it that way. Uh, th with the Nampa Chamber? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah. big ad. So unpacking that, so you're reaching out into a different segment for, not of the community, not this community, but a different community, for yeah, business, I'm kicking that door open. Exactly. So, <laughs> wow, we have, a, we have, a, and we have a good, we have a good. My whole point was is our title slide on this, and we have a good. Uh, that's a good segue. I'm going to put the title slide. Okay, up here. Okay. It's uh, this is uh, third door thinking, and I'm just I've got to give credit where credit is due on this. I was at uh, RiseX Executive Networking event this week, um, over uh, in Eagle, and um, one of the guys there, Jared is an EOS implementer, uh, entrepreneurial operating system implementer for EOS Worldwide, and he's brilliant. And uh, he used this third door thinking in his slide. I actually have a picture of his slide. Um, I, I told him, I said, I'm going to use that because it's so good. Let's come back. And he probably said, fine. He's like, yeah, use yeah, it. Like yeah. third door thinking. And, and he had to explain it. A whole audience was wrapped with like third door thinking. I haven't heard that one before. Um, and he's like, yeah, you know, the front door's locked. I've got phrases you haven't heard before. If you want to hear? <laughs> I think I heard a lot of those phrases bombing down that salt road. Down oh there. yeah, you heard yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, I heard some phrases there. We shouldn't repeat those here. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, okay, no. let's go with third door uh, uh, thinking. So he's yeah. like, yeah, the front door's locked, and you go around back, and it's locked too. What do you do? You, you walk away. Yeah. I'm like, no. I'm looking for a window. I'm looking for that cellar access window thing that, like, I think I could fit through there. You know, or you're just looking. You know, is that second story window open? I bet I could shimmy my ass up there. <laughs> I bet you can. Uh, I bet I can. Right. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's third door thinking is just. And, and part of your third door thinking on the Nampa Chamber was the Nampa Chamber. I mean, you got oh, another gosh. city over there of 100,000-ish yeah. people. Uh, I, why not? Right. I took a picture of the Nampa Chamber's banner. I'm going to show it to you here. And I sent it to my team, and I said, "This is why we're involved in the Nampa Chamber." Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here. Let me move cameras, and I'm gonna see if you can see this. Um, you probably can't get much of that here, but the names on this, who's on here? Amazon, Amalgamated Sugar, Idaho Central Credit Union, Autoval. What a cool company! What they do. Um, Volumetric Modular. Are you familiar with them? No, I'm not. They build buildings that you take to the site and 
stack, and now you have oh. a fully built. So they're a, they're an old they're a Boise Cascade uh, redo. Yeah, only with uh, just, probably industrial buildings. They're not super cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, Saint Alphonsus, Saint Luke's, Wells Fargo. Um, just a great list of people involved over there, and that doesn't even scratch the surface. Yeah, I met Kurt Homer, the former police chief over there. Uh, his son's a photographer in Tucson. I thought he was an artist, like a painter. Yeah, he's a photographer artist, right? Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, just a really awesome day yesterday, followed by massive production work here in the studio, getting stuff out to the to Ribuku and getting our extractions done. I pay thirty cents for an extraction. I do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Thirty cents. Yeah. No, not work for you, but I'd pay thirty cents for a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Yep. Uh, I have uh, eighty-nine people. I'm like, I'm gonna sit and extract 89 people or I'm gonna say I'm gonna pay $29. Yeah. Here's my $29. Take my money. Yeah. I think uh, it was $29. I'll, you can do the math yeah, out there. Let's I'll go, go, see I'll go to the, lunch. Yeah, let's we'll go see, see what the social feed. They're still just listening to us babble. Yeah. yeah. Um, which we're doing readily. Um, let's jump through a couple of quick announcements. Um, yeah. See one of the reasons we are still playing with graphics this I morning. I can't even talk about my week. <laughs> I love you, man. I'm so sorry. Larry, tell us about your week, I, I don't man. want to know. Well, you know, uh, let's... What, you can't I was, see it. Listen, I was just wait, throwing wait, shade. Wait, What's this, dude? That's not oh, usually yeah. on set. Oh. Woo! We're going to have a little reveal here today. I so want to smell it. It's... I got to got to open it so I can smell it. It's brand new in the box. He just picked it up. I just picked it up. I'm like, let me see it. He goes, now we're gonna unbox it on. So I pay. You pay a lot of money for these things, right? So I go to this. I I go to the. Oh yeah, sorry. I go to the (laughs) pickup place and I pick it up and I about throw the box through the roof. I'm like, because it weighs nothing. Yeah, I'm thinking they made a mistake. I'm thinking I got (laughs) got an empty box. Some some sort of crap in there, and it might be empty. I don't know. We haven't opened it yet. So, uh, but I'm thinking, you know, for fifteen hundred bucks. Throw a brick in there. Do something. <laughs> Make you know, it substantial. substantial yeah. At least so, put a big fat I, manual on 35 languages in there. The, the, that's in there. Yeah. It's, except it's it's in 35 languages. Yeah. It says, see the online manual. Well, in 35 <laughs> languages, and you go to the English part, and there's like two pages. Yeah. yeah it's like, it says, but the rest of them are like, you know, like the Japanese. You'll find the PDF yeah. at this link. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, got a new art. We're uh, I've wired today, man. Yeah, we're good. Got an R7. Uh, uh, for reasons which I outlined earlier, this is my first R series camera. It won't be my last. I got another one that's uh, in the works. Which one are you thinking for that? The R6? 6 Mark II. Yeah, yep. yep. That thing is a tank. I think um, the writing is on the wall for an R5 Mark II probably next year sometime. I, I, I heard it was coming soon. Yeah, yeah. I, I would anticipate yeah. it. I've seen discounts on the R5. And then the for those of you that are looking for the R1, I do a lot of Canon junk. Uh, the Olympics. They'll probably debut that for the Olympics, like they normally do. If, you, if you've watched the Olympics and you see all the white lenses down there, I don't know if you guys have ever gone out there and seen a picture of the oh ready room uh, for the Olympics. But if you if you That's haven't, absolute thing of beauty. Yeah, if you haven't done that yet, just just go uh, Google Canon, whatever uh, Olympic. My wife's getting snarky. What'd she say? <laughs> no more caffeine for the two of you. Oh. Oh, we just, I started. I know, right? This is only my third cup. So. And I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> I'm menopausal. I'm having a hot flash. Anyway, we'll have a, I want to see actually how big this thing is. I've never, I mean, you know, you get measurements let's, and let's stuff. Cur- but you're going to need a lens for that. Yeah, so yeah, well, got, well. got a new lens coming forward. No, to you're actually, need one right now. Oh. I'm, I'll be back. Okay, I'm, he's getting a lens. What do you want? Uh, something small. Because this thing's not very big, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There. That'll work. All right. So Bob just gave me a 14 to 35 uh, F4. So you want to crack this open? Should we do it? Now? Yeah, do it, dude. Right. I think everybody, everybody's just waiting on <clears> <throat> breath. Look at the box. All black <laughs> and nice R7. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Oh, now, no, uh, hasn't been opened. <laughs> Bob sticks a, his head in the box <laughs> online. The warranty card. Something. Here's your multi-language. It uh, is, too. It, yeah. it is. Uh, oh, it's not 35 languages, though. One, two, three, four, five. 
That's impressive. Five yeah. languages just say go look online for the PDF. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the that, nice thing about the PDF is it's text searchable. Uh, yeah, I like. Right? I would, actually, I prefer the PDF. Yep. Did they say with the LPE6? LPE6. So there's three LPE6. There's the LPE6. There's the LPE6H. And the LPE6NH. And then LPE6ENH. LPE6NH. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, charger, uh, the, which will charge all three of them, the by the way. NH. Is, is this a one. phenomenal battery, and that's this one right here. So, and you, folks, you're going to need this. Uh, if you, I, I'm using this for video, and gotta 80, have that. eighty bucks a piece. I buy mine right from Picture Line. Yeah, because you don't want a counterfeit battery. The so don't buy your camera batteries from R Amazon. R no, don't buy counterfeit batteries. Period. Uh, R7 uh, strap, a nice plastic tray, which is. Very nice. Oh, oh. What? I was trying to see if it was recyclable. Or it not. is. It is. All right. And here it is. Oh, I like that much better. In the better. bottom. Where's the freaking camera? There it's we over go. Here, dude. here right. I'll punch it in. Bam. There we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Right. Look at that. The box is going to go away now. So just in case you, I hope you all heard that hit the ground. Quinn says, yes, we want to see. I do too. I should have, I, if I weren't using my cameras. Oh, that's nice. There we go. The grip is the biggest part of it. Dude, that thing is small. I love my mirrorless. I I would not, you know what? Uh, I think F-Stoppers just did a review of the 5D Mark IV and they're claiming it's still the best camera. And, uh, and I have to agree, it's an absolute tank. I love the thing. But my R5s and even my R, and now your R7 and even the RPs that Laquita has. My only complaint Laquita with the RP is that it doesn't run the standard battery, and that would be the reason to jump to the R, because all of my cameras are in the same battery family, as is yours. Yep. And so then, I'm I'm impressed with the size. Let's throw that thing. Snap on. a lens on that bad boy. The lens mount's different. You're about to experience something not too pleasant. Yeah. It doesn't quite find itself like the. No, it doesn't lock to. in a place, does yeah. it? Want to drop your battery in there? Yeah. Well, sure. Why not? Yeah. Hopefully, this it has isn't some at all what we planned, but yeah. it's. Uh, Larry and I actually decided that we really enjoyed our format last week of just uh, chatting and, en and enjoying the time together. And we'll, we'll get to our topic. Oh, uh, yeah. Third door yeah. thinking. It's coming along. Let's see what... Uh, There's no card in this Lequita because... Liquid says, or complete with the RP is it doesn't have dual card slots. That's, you know, I shoot tethered a lot, so the dual card slots isn't as big a deal for me, but when I am out shooting events, you know, events are a, a one, one and done deal, right? You either get it or you don't. Um, <laughs> Yep. Well, it really is. And I yeah. shot one today, uh, this week at Top Golf. That was fun. Um, cold, but fun. Um, what a gem. Battery is not charged. Really? Yeah, apparently. I've never come against that. They're mm -hmm. usually charged up. It's not firing up. So I'm going to go with the battery for right now. Yeah, it could be. If you want one, there's a stack of them over there. No, it's all right. Anyway. Yeah. So congratulations on the toy. birth of your new camera. So the first lens I got coming for this is the 1535 F2.8. Which is a, a lot more substantial yeah, than that it's, one. It's that's a little the 14 heavier. to 35 F4. And then I will, uh, uh, just to, as a matter of a reveal. Is that a dual charger? Yeah. Uh, no. Just one. Just one. Okay. Yeah. As a matter of a reveal, the next battery I'm going to, or the next battery, the next lens I'm going to get is the uh, 70 to 200 F4 mm -hmm. because it's so light. This that's going to be actually my walk around lens. Oh, so, and then after that, uh, it'll be a toss up. I have a whole string lenses I want to get, uh, but I think the 60 uh, or R6 Mark II will probably come into play before more lenses yeah. for this. So my only now my I, it's not a dilemma, but my dilemma is is if it, should I. 86 the M50 Mark II. Um, should drop that into our production cycle here. Yeah, see what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it. That'd be great. For yeah. You. I mean, yeah. I, so my R. So I run a pair of R5s, right? right? That's my. That's what my business runs on. But I have the R, and that just stays bolted to that counter over there. And it's uh, it's this camera. It's currently wearing my 100 millimeter macro, and um, it's nice to not have to jerk the cameras out of my production every time I, I go somewhere. Yeah. You know. So I would probably do that with your M50 Mark II, because that does video. Does it have the 2930, 2959 mm -hmm, on it? Mm -hmm. Can you magic lantern that bad boy and get rid of the 2959 deal? Oh no, it, no. It, that I'm one sorry, doesn't. It does not. Yeah, it's, it's the predecessor uh, does. It's the M5 that does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or M50 should say. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I got. Uh, so look for some sales on uh, equipment. 
business. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, speaking of sales, and so I we went full PPI regalia today. Yeah, uh, a couple Come of mugs. On, I, me. I uh, I'm wearing this sweat shirt sweater thing. This is so comfortable. That thing, those are. Um, and brilliant. I just want to say, if you're watching and you want one of these, the the weather is perfect for them. By the way. Yep. Uh, if you want one of these before convention, you want to be able to wear something to convention. Um, they're, they're awesome. I have a box of these here at my studio, and um, they're 60 bucks. If you want one, come on by. I'll sell you one. Just bring me a check that I can pass over to PPI and um, get you into one of these. I have a, a handful of sizes. Just uh, message me and let me know that you'd like one. Yep. Yep, I've got them. They're, they're terrific. They'll be at convention, too, but it's nice to have something to wear, too. Conve Dude, that's... I know. It's balanced, isn't it? I, I, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. They've done and Oh, look at this. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. All right, I don't know if you guys are as nerdy about this stuff as I am. Let's just <laughs> punch into one here. All right, here we are. This is a tight shot. Um, on the back here, joystick and a dial. Up, up instead of the middle of the camera. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So your thumb is just right well, there. Well, and you know, the, the control ring deal yep. is another thing. You get to... So that's one thing that a lot of people don't get about this system, too, is, is the, uh, the lens control ring. You can custom function that thing. I do. You can custom function stuff inside the You know the what I made it? I made it my aperture. There you go. Yeah. Because that's where it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like these things. So there's, there's, I can't wait to get into this. I'm excited and, uh, for you. Yeah. And uh, this we'll, is a huge step. Oh, huge. I like the simple control dial too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Boy, that's nifty. And it, with that lens on there, feel it. I mean, it's just like. Well, this is a really light lens. The reason yeah, I went still, 14 to 35 f4 is because I simply don't need fast glass for what I shoot with my wide angle lenses. Yeah. Um, I had this lens at Top Golf this week uh, to shoot this group. It's a pretty. I don't. You, have you been there yet? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's pretty tight quarters. Yeah. I got a huge, beautiful, wide shot of everybody, and it's so cool with that lens. So you're gonna love it. You're yep. gonna love. Yep. Woo! Awesome sauce. All right. So, so let's. Yeah. Anyway, what that, that was my unveiling for uh, the, the week. Yeah, right he there. opened a new can of worms. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Thanks. Um, it's, been, it's been a while. I mean, I, I waited, so... Well, you still have the 5.3, right? 5D3? Yeah, but it's going. It's going. Yeah, all the, all the EF stuff I, that I, I have tell you is what, history. So. I, if, I, if I hadn't had to sell all that equipment to get into this equipment, I would have... Because I magic lanterned my 5D3. Yeah. And it was perfect for video. Well, this, that's what this is actually kind of built for. Yeah. I mean, I just mean, this is a, this for, is, for yeah. setting something up and not having to tear apart my studio yeah. to just do stuff. This is a, this is a photographer's camera that really shoots good video. Yeah. Well, that, let's put yeah. it that way. All of this series is so profoundly good. 8K on these R5, it's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah. I don't, we shoot 1080p here in the studio. We stream yeah. in 1080p. I could see shooting 4K to get some of that resolution and scale it down. Maybe. Um, if I were, if I were doing edits, I think that would be cool because you, you have a lot more crop range with that, and especially for stabilization, you keep a lot of data. Anyway, boom. So good stuff, Larry. I, right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out one thing. I'm gonna come out with a new class, and that's a vid video for photographers, and it's a, it's a bare bones. What to do when somebody says, "Hey, can you video this?" Can you grab a little bit of video? Yeah, and and it's going to be basically. What you need to set your camera at, uh, you know what you're looking at as far as yeah. light goes. None of this will it should in, entail new equipment for anybody. Yeah. It's just that moment when somebody comes up and says, "Hey, can you throw together a little video on this?" <laughs> and you're like, uh, "That." There's some great so, tools yeah. for that too. There is, but I'm. I, that's I mean, once you have the data. Yeah. Once you've made oh. the capture. Well, well we're going to go into DaVinci. Well, I'm excited. I, so yeah. I'll take an opportunity to say that we have. Um, the Bob Ryder EDU program has launched, and we have workshops all throughout the year, and we're planning next year's workshops already. Um, you're probably, if you're on Facebook you're, and then Treasure Valley, you're probably seeing those ads uh, come online because that's a thing now. I've got uh, five instructors uh, on tap and adding more every every couple of months. So um, really excited. You're teaching a class mm -hmm. in July. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Collins teaching a, a Photoshop 0-60 to 60 class next month. Um, we've got a class a week from tomorrow uh, for low light, low key uh, lighting, and I'm excited about that. That's not something you see a lot these days. No, because everybody wants to see that high key, well, yep. or medium key, I guess it'd be yeah. better. 
pretty generic. Yeah, generic yeah. key. Let's generic <laughs> key. So anyway, it's just a lot of great workshops coming online. You can find that at bobrider.com. And um, it's just great to have all, the, all of you guys coming alongside and teaching. We're teaching right here in this space. These are small group workshops, a dozen people or less. I think we're going to limit it to eight for the Photoshop class next month. Um, and that's a bring your PC kind of class. So if you need to bring your desktop PC, and uh, I'm going to give you power to do that. And the ones that I teach, or ones, I, ho I hope I have more than one, uh, will be uh, also hands-on. So yeah. bring your crap. They are all hands-on, yeah. as a matter so of fact. This um, isn't going to be a, a standard sit back in the back and take notes and then three days yeah. later wonder what I said. Well, and so. we are, <clears throat> I, uh, I actually said this really well. Somebody was asking me about it yesterday. And... Um, I love this format where we're just we're just having conversation. Um, Laquise says, "I love low key." I do too, and um, we're gonna we're gonna play with it, teach it, practice it, do it here in the studio. Um, let me jump into my Trello. I want to read this. So, so Laquise, I just saw your note about the card. So, everybody remember too on these newer, like especially this one here, you need to uh, U ninety cards, SD cards are higher, uh, and they're expensive. So, when you come to when you're pricing out a camera. Uh, and this has dual slots, so I basically ordered four cards in at a hundred dollars piece. Yep. That's uh, that's another chunk of change. Oh yeah, baby. Beautiful baby. Yeah. All right. So. So I was talking about our classes. We have begun the launch of our educational brand, helping photographers build a better foundation in lighting, camera skills, file management, Photoshop, prepping and posing people, and business principles. Perfect. Um, I'm excited about that, folks. And I think it's okay to talk about it here. Uh, PPI doesn't own this broadcast. I do. Uh, we happen to broadcast it for PPI, so there's content available for our members and beyond. But um, hey. these, are, these are opportunities for anyone, anywhere to come on board. And at the moment, we're not planning to live stream them, but we are probably going to start recording um, after we get a few under our belt in the space and see how everybody fits just fine. But And I don't know how you feel about this, but I think if people out there, our viewers, have some other stuff that they want to put out, Yep. Send us an email. Well, we've got a venue. I guess that's exactly. the most important yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, is, yeah. Uh, we've yeah. got a venue and a vehicle. And, um, and we don't care who you are, kind of. I mean, we do, <laughs> but not really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you got to know your stuff, right? Exactly. All right, so let's come back. Um, are we ready? I think so. All right. So I mean, we've goofed around enough here. <laughs> we kind of have. What time are we? I don't I'm know. I'm not even you tracking know, I'm that. I'm not either. Remember, I'll look at the old analog 24 watch. after. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So um, this. We should have till 12.01 today because we started at 11.01. So. We did. <laughs> it was like, oh, crap. we got to get on air. Um, this is stuff coming up I this? can't wait for. Um, I'm going to throw Laquita out for this because she's uh, she's the one that has worked so hard uh, the last few months to pull some shoots together for our Treasure Valley members. And uh, and if you're out of the Treasure Valley and you want to come and join us, that's great. I have to appreciate a little bit on Sky, who uh, yep. who Sky has put together a, a, a fun shoot down in the Magic Valley. Mm -hmm. um, somebody asked online, are these exclusive to the Treasure Valley? No. But guess what? That's where we are. Um, so that's where the, a lot of them are going to happen. Yeah. It's also where our population center is. So, you know, you can't really get on us too hard for just putting it out where uh, we are. However, we, uh, and again, we have tried to extend this kind of statewide as much as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And and should you have a place that you want to go shoot or whatever, uh, just like Sky's doing down in Twin Falls. <clears throat> and do you have that slide by any chance? Uh, I don't have that slide. Okay. But I do have April's slide if you're ready to do that. Uh, let when me talk about Sky's sure. for just a second. So uh, if you go on Facebook, on the PPI members page, you'll see Sky's uh, uh, shoot. If any of you have those kind of shoots and, you, and you're PPI members and you want us to, like, toss those out, which is great, especially Idaho Falls. I know they have a ton of this, this stuff, uh, not PPI members. Some of them are, some of them aren't, yeah. but it's a group. I think I it's recall. important to say that these aren't instructor-led workshops, so if right, you create right. imaging down there, you're free to compete with it. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, she reached out and said, hey, we want to do a shoot. Can we Can we do that? Yeah. Like, yes. Absolutely. Please do. Yeah. Right. So, awesome so, sauce. Yep. I'm off the, go ahead. You're off there. So Let the, me can, can we go back to checkers. the first one? Yes, we can. And, and the reason why, why is because I, I wanted you to kind of, all right, let me let me push it back over. So this is incredible right here, and Laquita, awesome job here. But this wine and food photography on Monday night or Monday afternoon, actually three yep. to five, uh, 
and I don't know this gal. A lot of people do, and I think she. Christine but this, Joy. But this is spectacular that someone would do this for us, and uh, I'm I'm looking so forward to this. And that's this is just the tip of the iceberg for the entire year. So uh, it is. I, so that's a great segue to yeah. jump into. I, mean, I can just pop it right online yep. here. Um, this is our April shoot at Domina Farm. I don't know if I'm saying that quite right, but it's the way it looks to me. Animal Sanctuary down in CUNA. This just looks like a good time, a great opportunity to do some interesting, uh, just some fun stuff, right? Yep. And um, hopefully the weather participates there. And then, um, so these will all be events uh, on Facebook. Um, I'm, I'm going to shout out to the community here. All right. Right? So let's try to pull these together. Uh, Jennifer Alvey is putting together the graphics for us. Mm -hmm. Kim Minter is doing uh, the events for us through Facebook. And it's really taking a community to raise the child, if you will. It's taking a community to pull these shoots together for us and uh, just providing opportunities, right? Yep. That's what we're trying to do in 2023 is just provide opportunities to be together and do fun things. And then here is, I'm <clears> just <throat> going to roll right into yep. this list. Absolutely. Uh, this is the list. Do a screen shot here. Do your little snappy power button, volume button. <laughs> Hand waving. Yeah. Whatever thing, you do. Yeah. Right? Um, just grab your screen capture on this. This is probably on the interwebs too. Um, is do we have this on the website? Do you know? Today it will be. Today it will. Yeah, be. I have. Right. I still have some. By the way, just a, just a note to people that are registering for a convention. We have a little snafu in the website. If it comes up and says you have a credit, you probably don't. So <laughs> don't uh, don't count on that credit because I, I I documented when the uh, website uh, had its little meltdown, uh, and then somehow our events page and our payment page thing got kind kind of unlinked, not really unlinked. It's complicated a little bit, but it might show that you have an overpayment. You don't. So Yeah, so honestly, if you have questions, just ask. And, and right? email me, Larry, Larry, Larry Fry Photo at Gmail or Larry Larry Fry Photography. It doesn't matter. Just email me. Or I, the or or text. P P Vidaho at Gmail. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Any of it. Or hit um, contact on the website. Yeah. Any of those will get to Larry. Yeah. And we I just I'll answer every question you got. And if you want to you know, I don't we aren't real clear on what happened here, but it was a glitch with the website. It, it was, was a glitch yeah. so, with uh, the WA yeah. and all well, that stuff. But we'll get it uh, sorted out. I'm just warning you that you probably don't have a credit. You probably aren't as rich as you think you are. So just <laughs> saying. All right. I'm going right. to roll into a next set of slides. I'm yep. going to bring, um, let, let me bring. Let's go one more time with this and, and just real briefly here. Uh, we had uh, our last master's class last night, which oh, is right. when. I'll come uh, back. That was good. Okay. We had our last master's class last night uh, in preparation for our own convention um, imaging, imaging uh, competition. And then, of course, that rolls into the PPA uh, monthly competitions, which are they're doing now. Uh, exciting news. Merit I image review. Correct. Yep. Uh, you can get up to eight merits now. A year. A year. Yep. Which is freaking brilliant. Uh, but one the yep. reason why I'm telling you this story is because uh, Dan Johnson, is one of our... Uh, Love Dan. Yeah, he's one of our members at the, we call ourselves the master's group, we're not really masters or anything, but um, master's group. And uh, last night we were kind of saying our goodbyes and thank yous to Phil White who has led this thing and he has poured some time into this. And uh, anyway, we're saying goodbye and thank you and stuff and Dan just says, you know, I want to say something. And what's that? And he says, um, he said, I really like this group because you got, uh, with all the faults I have, and what he's talking about is pho photographic faults. He said, instead of tearing me apart, you lifted me up. That's and that's exactly what this whole entire group is trying to do. That's instead what of, PPI is trying to do. Right. So right? I, trying to I, edify, yeah. trying to lift. That's what, and I thank him for that. Trying I said, to elevate. I said, you know what, Dan? That's what we're, as a group, as a whole, Beautiful. that's what we're trying to do. I love so, Dan. And um, he's got some so, killer images. So this by is the a way. great opportunity to also talk about. Our Idaho Fellow Program, okay? Yep, yep. I'm just going to mention it. If you are going to be at convention and you've taken training or done training or given training in the last year or two, please email me a synopsis of that, when and where and what, and I'm going to try and get that poured into our uh, points calculator. And I, I am intent on awarding some Idaho Fellows this year at convention. I know Convention's the end of the month. We're going to roll right into that here in yep. just a minute. Yep. But I know we've got a handful of people who have earned their Idaho Fellow. Yep. And I'm very, very excited for that. And uh, not only that, but 
it's out on the website. So if you go to the website, now the website, I did a little look and feel change on it. I didn't cause a problem, I'm just saying. I did a little You look did do a nice update. Yeah, so the, the menu is now at the very top. And if you go over to the membership thing and, and you're a member and you're logged in and you hit the drop down, I believe, the Idaho, the Idaho degrees stuff is in there. Right. I could separate that link and I probably will. So there Great. you go. Yeah. Good okay. stuff. So, um, Convention. Do it. There you go. Our convention is coming up March 31st to April 2nd. We're going to be right here in Meridian at the Courtyard by Marriott uh, down on South Eagle Road. We have a fantastic lineup of instructors. Um, what more can you say about this, Larry Fry? Yeah, I, nothing. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> if you just go out and read. I mean, I, there's two of them here that I, I can't wait to see. One's Tim. Uh, because I actually have seen him before, and you know, it's one of those deals. Well, and, and Danny Batista just sent in um, a great description of what his workshop looks like. The motivated lighting. Mm -hmm. Did you see those samples I, I coming to Trello? Yeah. I'm like, oh man, yeah, There's, that's my game, man. Yeah. That's my jam. Yeah, yeah. there's. It's going to be a good one. Uh, just don't miss it. Uh, it's going to be March 31st, April 1st, April 2nd, uh, yep. leaving on April 2nd. Do you have the, what's the next one, the calendar? I've got it right here. This is day one oh, and day go. two. There you go. So Thursday night, we're just going to have a little mixer social thing. Uh, not, you don't have not to. Not program. Yeah, you don't have to attend it's it. It's just for you, folks who are yeah. arriving from out of town that want to connect or folks that are here. Yeah. It's just, a, we're going to gather. Yeah. Right. Just want to say hi. Right. Yeah. And then we start out bright and early uh, Friday morning at nine o'clock. So uh, some of us will be starting much earlier, than that. <laughs> much, much <laughs> earlier than that. And then of course we're going to roll into day two, which is, oh, I have that too. That's awesome. Thanks right Gary there. for uh, getting day, me these slides. Actually day two and day three. So Tim's going to be last. So that means I have to hang around. It means all you should hang around anyway. And then of course we have the meeting and then the awards banquet. Um, the, 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 one of the better things about this conference that we have going on and pretty excited about this is our image competition this year. You have to have your entries in by midnight, March 14th, which is coming right up. It's the eighth oh, or ninth. It's yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. So March 14th by midnight, put your images in. And then on Saturday, March 18th will be the actual competition. And we have watch parties around yeah. we have, I know for two, for sure, um, we're, we're trying to get to a third oh, one up north, but we'll we see. We haven't even talked about what we want to talk about. I know. Yeah. Again, it, there's just a lot of really good stuff you know, happening. You know and what? a new camera, right? And a new camera. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm sorry about taking up so much time with the camera, but no, I had this, to do this it. this is good. So, this is good. So, anyway, um, get your images in uh, Tuesday night. I, I can't stress this enough. you got to enter them at printcompetition.com. If you want to see the rules, you can go to the website or you can go to printcompetition.com. They're mm -hmm. on both sites. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, it's uh, 4,000 pixels on the long end, uh, 200 PPI. You can't exceed, uh, I want to say, f 7 megabytes, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, just don't exceed that. If you're 2,000 megapixels on the long edge, you're probably yeah. going to be fine size-wise. Just don't, don't. If you have a really high diff, uh, high megapixel camera and you say, save them as JPEGs at a, like the highest setting, which is a 12 or whatever higher, that won't work. Back it down to 10, perfect. So I found that out the hard way. So Gold. Uh, yeah. I use JPEG Mini, which does a phenomenal job. Yeah. So anyway, get them in because uh, we got those. We have some. We introduced our medallions last year. A oh, huge I hit. Bigger uh, this year. Bigger and we'll fill. Yeah. So much, much better. So I love the challenge coins. Me too. I think they're yeah. fabulous. The so challenge coins was. Uh, what well, was my idea? I'm just going to say it. I love a challenge coin. So, uh, being military and law enforcement. Challenge coins have been a part of my history. Yeah. Um, well, and I got, I mean, so I worked with the legislature in the fishing game in one of my other 501c3s, and uh, fishing game gave me a challenge coin, and that's what put the idea in my head. These things are cool. Super I cool, mean, yeah. and they display an Alexan display. Oh, I just love them. I've yeah. got one right over there from, actually from see, Google. Yeah, I see that. Who recognized my veteran-owned business. Yeah. So anyway, uh, don't forget, pre-competition coming up Tuesday night by midnight. Get them in. All right. Are you ready? Yep. So um, we're gonna have to do this quick. Just do, well, you know what? This is you know what? I could just explain it, and we'll we'll talk about it for a minute, and yeah. then we're just gonna leave it for okay. people to gnaw on. To, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Let you guys think uh, for a while. Third door thinking, and like I said in the beginning, um, I was at a 
at an event this week, and the keynote was talking uh, a, a lot about leadership, and he was talking about third-door thinking as one of the things that you need to employ. And, and he captured the room in an instant because nobody in the room had heard this phrase before, and he explained it. Okay, the front door's locked, so you go around to the back. This is a natural progression. I see my kids doing this. I see myself doing this, right? Front door's locked. When you get home, you're like, oh, crud, I didn't bring, my key. I didn't bring that key with me or whatever. You go around back. The slider's locked. Okay, great. Am I locked out? Nope. No. I'm going to do something to get in. It, and Is Santa ever locked out? No, man. No. Yeah, exactly. We don't have a fireplace. It's okay. That's right. He's got that covered. <laughs> um, but, but really, it's, it's just this concept that you've got to find a way. Yeah. You've got to find a way to overcome the obstacles. And sometimes the challenges are small. Sometimes it's an inconvenience. Sometimes it's way more than that. Um, last year was a great example. I found myself with emergency spine surgery. I found myself partially paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And I had emergency surgery on Valentine's Day. Does that suck or what? <laughs> and then, you know, two months uh, in hospitals and rehabilitation and learning to get the legs walking again and how to stand. And, and a year to come back to even halfway decent. A year. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And lots of great stuff came out of that, we are sitting in this studio space that is literally the result of having Correct. to overcome a challenge. How am I going to do this in a wheelchair? Yep. I need a safe space to work. Yep. And that's when we said, well, we're, we, we have to adapt. Like, I can't, I can't find myself having to get in a car and go somewhere every time I have to do something for work. I, ha I can't trundle through my garage it's strewn with garage things to get into my tiny little studio, I need room for my wheelchair. I need room to be able to park the wheelchair and struggle to stand up and maybe use the walker. So what did we do? We, we bought a big shed that's got the garage in it out back. We first, we, first we rented some space up the street, mm -hmm. right? Oh, you got it. Storage mean, space yeah. and made the transition and then we're like, yep, this worked. Oh, right. you guys wouldn't have, I mean, I, it's, we should, I, at the start of this, I should have done some before and after because you just wouldn't yeah. believe, seriously, right? I yeah. mean, you wouldn't believe the space now <laughs> compared to the space it was. I had so. a client walk in. Uh, we did uh, some makeup sessions Saturday for a group that we had done some big imaging for, and uh, I had about 10 people coming through. And one guy had walked in. Now, when you park and you walk up to the house, you walk past the garage and garage doors to a, a man door, and you come in, and he was here for a few minutes. He's like, so... What did this used to be? <laughs> I'm like, dude, this was my garage, yeah. right? Um, but that's, I, I'd like to think that's the level that we've achieved. Oh, absolutely. Um, you don't know that you're in a garage no. space here any, no. any longer. And done. Um, Marvelous with the, with the drape and the, the sound knocking down drape. I had to do that to do this. Yeah. Right? And when then we you first started, the... it was like, hello, Larry. <laughs> and then hello, the... Bob. <laughs> and then the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh Insulation in the garage doors, all the stuff, all the stuff. It was a lot of work, too. A lot of work, and we took, I mean, he did. He took down garage door openers and all kinds of stuff, and literally right now you can't tell it's a garage. Yeah, so. and you know, this is just, I, I, and I stand on this one thing uh, uh, as one of many third door thinking episodes, right? Yep. Um, just and, and everybody does that, right? So Everybody's doing it, yeah. right? It, yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, we can talk a lot about it, but... Did our uh, mics go away? No, no, we should be fine. Let's go over here. There we go. We are fine. Okay, good. Okay. I just thought uh, I didn't... I had a little momentary lapse of reason right there, I guess. Well, we, I took the meter off so we could see all the messages, ah, right? I got you, got you. Okay. Um, I, there are so many people that were instrumental in helping us overcome, and I think this is another great opportunity to say, you are not an island. Right, and then... Third door thinking. So when Bob brought this up to me, I, I instantly thought of a, one thing, and then I thought of about 15 more. <laughs> and I, I'm, uh, I read on Reddit quite a bit, and there was a guy that's a videographer from Alaska that moved to Florida. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, why, I don't know, but he did. <laughs> anyway, uh, he moved to Florida, and he's having trouble finding work. Well, uh, you know, and he put out his website and all this stuff. What am I doing wrong? I can't find work. I'm really depressed, blah, blah, blah. And of course, everything he had 
in Alaska was the magnificent mountains and the you know and it was mostly from an airplane and the stuff you got to change brother exactly so yeah and that's the whole point of this story is is you know now he's down in flatland country basically uh, you know, with the crocodiles and the alligators and the big bugs and snakes and all that swamps. Kind of, and swamps, bayou, and a, a billion people. Um, so he's got to change, and that discussion in my brain brought on the uh, AI discussion in my oh. brain. So you know, a lot of people look at AI. Oh God, it's going to kill photography. It's yes. going to kill this. It's going to kill that. Just like the well, iPhone's not killing photography. Exactly. Right? It's not going to. Uh, but instead of looking at that as a oh my God, I can't compete. Look at it as a tool that you can use to put yourself ahead. And that's the key is that you have to adjust and adapt. There's a third door. Uh, there's not. There ha yeah, there's always. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I do a lot of, so I don't, I don't use Reddit, right? But I have a stack of business books going all the time. Well, that doesn't mean I don't read business no, books. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that's where I spend. <laughs> so that's, that's my me time is, is reading and uh, the book I'm reading, I'm just finishing it up probably this weekend, mm -hmm. is The Big Leap. And uh, Sam turned me onto this book. And um, it talks about zone of genius, zone of excellence, zone of competence, and zone of incompetence. And um, we spend a lot of time in that zone of competence, right? Um, where there's things that I can do, but anybody in my organization could do it. Or exactly. perhaps I could find somebody else to do it. What I want to do is I want to find that third door that helps me get to my zone of genius where I'm doing the things that I'm super, super good at. And actually, I read last night, he's talking about <clears throat> what is your zone of genius? It's the thing that you do that just gives you that feeling like I'm not even working. I'm just having fun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yep. That's the thing that I'm genius <clears throat> at. And I told Bry last night, if I were to bear this out just a little bit, and this would make a great conversation too, um, <clears throat> Photography is not my zone of genius. No, mine either. Photography is my zone of excellence. Um, I enjoy it. It's uh, it's the thing that I use in my zone of genius. My zone of genius is creating businesses, is creating the business model, is creating that profitability thing. It's it's connecting those dots. It's connecting to the people and all of the. That's that's when I'm happiest. When I'm running my team and we're at an event and things are flowing, and the boss person comes down and wants to see how we're doing it. Dude, that's the coolest thing ever to me. Mm -hmm. doesn't have to be your thing. It's my yeah. thing, right? That's my zone of genius. I don't feel like I'm working. I'm having fun in that moment. Yeah, and so mine is mine is basically creativity with the stuff I have around me. That's, that's cool. Because I know how to run the camera. I know how to light. Right. But when you put objects, and it could be models, it could be whatever, I'm thinking... What can I do that's not, oh, put your hand on your hip, put your weight on this foot, whatever. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. This. Uh, I think Sam is watching. Is he? Well, I think so. There's some input here. Let's go. Bam. The third, this is from Seven Figure Photographer. That's Sammy, I think. The Third Door is a great business book by Alex Bannion. Highly recommend. Is that you, Sammy? Thanks, or Sam. is that um, Mia? I don't know who that is. I think, well, Mia was in the Caribbean, and she probably hasn't recovered <laughs> it's yet. probably yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. Probably so, not yeah. Mia, right? Yeah. Uh, that's great input, man. Um, anyway, it, the third door. Uh, you you got to look for it. And and when you, and then, like you said, when you find that, you're in your happy spot, right? Yeah, so, yeah. well, and, you know, I've kicked open a lot of doors. Yes, figure, you have. Figuratively Fig and, and literally. Yeah, literally, yeah. Um, I've kicked <clears> open <throat> a lot of doors and gone, yeah, no, not the door I need to be behind. I had a retail store. Yeah. Well, look at look at what I'm doing. I I was doing well as a as a wedding photographer. Nope, not anymore. Not anymore. Kicking yeah. open a different door. Exactly. So we can all do it. Just gotta look for good it. Good stuff. All right. Listen. What time have we got? I don't we know. got 11:45. Uh, hey, we're in good shape. Um, I'm gonna drop this up here. I don't. Are we there yet? Or we want to chat some more? Yeah. Let's, some, yeah. let's go ahead. I think that was a good wrap up. Actually, I think so too. Yeah. Um, so let me do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. We do. Um, there is a massive update to this run program that we're using, and um, I that can't you need wait. To, uh, that you need to yeah, update? Yeah, yeah, and it's going to allow us to just drop videos right into this run. I'm Sweet. so stoked on that. I've been using another device to pour videos into the switcher, and now I can just drop them right into my run. Right run. Sweet. Um, so anyway, we've just been talking about this concept, and um, Sam, thanks for mentioning that book. I hadn't heard of that before. He didn't mention it in the, in the workshop I was in this week. 
And um, but third door thinking is just this the the property of being able to overcome an obstacle, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very cool. Find your way. Yeah. All right. So back to the cameras for just a minute, and I'm going to drop that next slide up. We're going to wrap it right here so we can play with your camera. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, I always let you do this one because I really like the way you do it. Yeah. Hey, listen. So I did, at the start of the episode, I got through telling you a little story about you know what we're trying to do with uh, PPI and, and <clears throat> the whole idea is to lift everybody up, you know, because we want to write, we want everybody to rise to the top. That's the idea. If you like that concept, ppofidaho.com, hit the join us button right at the top of the page. Ten bucks a month. Ten dollars a month. Can't make it bucks any, a year. We do ask for, for ten dollars a month. We ask for a 12 month commitment. Uh, but uh, if you want to pay bi yearly, it's a hundred dollars. So it'll save you 20 bucks or something yeah, like that. It's the best hundred bucks and, you spend every year. And literally when you come to convention, you get a discount when you get, when, uh, and a fall retreat, you get a discount. There's discounts on all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> We're going to have a kick-ass. Can I say that? I did. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have a kick-ass convention this year. and uh, We really are. I really hope that you all can join us. There is a way to get a membership and go to convention at the same time. Yep. So make sure you check that out on the webpage and uh, come and join us. Yeah, man. So. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks yeah. for your comments and uh, just some of the thoughts that you've dropped in with us. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody Monday for the shoot. And um, don't forget Tuesday's the drop dead for image competition for Idaho and uh, great yeah. stuff. Tuesday night, midnight. Go register get, for convention. Get your pictures in. Yeah. All right. All right. See ya. See ya. Thanks.